Welcome back, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Anvil of Dawn. When we last left off, evil was afoot. And also, let's make a shortcut. There we go. I feel like exploring that area over there. Anything here? No. Well, it was worth a look, wasn't it? And we will go over here. Provide us some dudes. Go and murder you! Okay, fine, we'll murder you the old fashioned way. By smacking you in the face. Come on. Come on. At least there are no rocks here for Barry to pick up. Someday I might need all those rocks. I might need all of those rocks. No one can promise to me that I won't. There might be a puzzle at the end which requires 70 rocks. And specifically rocks, not cubes. I have guarded the Anvil of Dawn with something completely impregnable. What is that? 70 rocks. 70 pressure plates that require one rock each. No man would actually carry 70 rocks in, sees Barry Coleman. Oh, darn it. Parley! There is something here. Let's go find out what. Ooh, another Scarrick. I found a willow wisp. Come on, buddy. Fine, we'll do this the old fashioned way. I'll hit you a lot. Ow. These aren't the most evil of willow wisps, actually, I have to say. D and D willow wisps take the biscuit for being evil. Oh good phone calls. I like getting those. I'm just gonna let it ring. I'm going to let it ring. Because I am busy recording. What should ring again in another 20 seconds? Bye bye! Well, that's the end of that monster. Should we just explore that way for a little bit? Why not? Weapon. 
Never have I seen such a more broke- No, wait, I tell a lie. The one in Temple of Elemental Evil was pretty horribly broken. If you were a chaotic good warrior like Perry Coleman was, yes, it was horrendously broken. It's not one of those weapons that adapts its alignment dependent upon yours. If you picked a silly alignment like chaotic evil and started the game butchering peasants, the game does not go, well, we'll make the special sword awesome for a chaotic evil guy. Just like, no, that item is useless to you now. Well, that's another dead orc. have been full of boulders, you'd have had a very good chance of murdering me. Chances are good there that you'd have just wiped me out. So, why is Barry Coleman just hoarding all of those potions? Well, he might need them one day. Ah! Looks like I found something useful. either deadly or utterly ineffective. If a creature proves vulnerable to the effects of this spell, it dissolves. The target becomes unmade. If the target is immune to the spell, nothing happens and the creature remains undamaged. Choose your target well, for the ritual of unmaking is costly to use. Yes, indeed it is. That is what we came in there for. Ritual of unmaking. There it is. That's pretty much all we're here for, so let's leave. There's not really much more I can gain from going this way. There we go. And we know where it is now if we wanted to go another way. Well, they said that the entrance to the northwest there was an exit. It's also a willow wisp. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. I will throw spears at you if you follow me. Don't go away. I have this spear. A spear with your name on it. Spear, spear, spear. And no, I don't know why I'm singing about a spear. I just am. I thank you. Bing. Shame I can't pick that up. It looks valuable. Or worthless. 
Who knows? Who knows? Spikes. Ah, there's a lot of dudes here. I think I found the exit. Eats beer? Eats beer. Thank you. Just have to ask it nicely. Oh god, I left my spear there. I want it back. Thank you. Ooh, an item. More healing potions. I don't need healing potions. <laughs> I'm not actually trying to fight you, I'm just trying to recover my spear. Come this way! Please! Oh look! You ate a spear. Hindsight, perhaps your uh, awesome trap was not that awesome. This way. Ah. Well, at least I can do the uh, backwards front step hokey pokey here. Didn't really work so well at Lansom Law. To get surrounded very quickly. Remember avian worms? I think everyone remembers avian worms. I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. Thank Duda. Excellent. Oh, I'd gain a level from doing this. And a flash. Why not? Now the problem with going this way is a two-headed giant. Reading a book. Oh, he seems quite a nice chap. Let's say hello to him. How are you today? Da, I'm Jenks. He's Breton. Glad to meet ya. That wasn't the question, Brilliant. Da, I'm Jenks. Not Brill. Not Brill. Quiet, Brilliant. And as for you, turn about and go. What? Why? May I cross the bridge, please? How oh, very polite. But I think not. Oh, no. Where do you think you're going? Where I'm going is across the bridge. Good point. Not likely. Now go, or you'll meet with more than a harsh word. Yeah, the bosses guard the bridge, so we die. Shut up, Brilliant. Shut up, Brilliant. Who set you to guard this bridge? Warn lad, I think they call him. Right, Batal? Brilliant. Don't talk to it. Smash it if it tries to cross. Don't call me Brilliant. Me not afraid of you, Bertol. Oh, he knocked him out. Jinx, you must not be afraid of anything. Not afraid of anything. Not even a Skarak. Skarak? What's a Skarak? Me smash smelly things. Smash them. Too many on the reed plain. Thick with Skarax, eh? One too many. You can't trouble me. Now go! Mm, I've got a Skarak. My friend Jinx, I have something that might interest you. Yeah. Ah! Smell a Skarak! Ah! Bertol, a Skarak! Run, Bertol, a Skarak! Bertol, wake up! Follow me! Ah! Oh, <laughs> it wasn't. That was a rav. That was a lava river. That was a lava river. That man is not just slightly dead. That man is in fact very, very dead. seems rather evil. That place seems slightly less evil. Hmm. 
Well, we can't really do much with that, can we? And we can't really do much with Gorge Keep right now. So, when we come back, folks, I will, we will return to the Iron Titan, where we shall be continuing our adventures there. <laughs> Poor Batal. He was so very polite and well-mannered, and Jinx was an idiot. So, until then, folks, I'll catch you later. See you then.